Hi, Santiago. It was great talking with you earlier. I appreciate the opportunity to shoot this customized video. Now, I did quite a bit of research on LNS landscaping, and I would love to just jump right in and tell you what I found. So, now your future customers, when they're searching for your services, in example, Landscape Marysville, the first thing that's going to pop up for them is what's called the Google Map Pack. Now, ideally, we want businesses to be in the top three spots. You definitely are. You're right here. You're ranking third. I did pull your listing directly. That's right here. You've got beautiful pictures. You've got wonderful reviews. Definitely shows you're a reputable company. So, the only thing that I would suggest here is additional citations. What a citation is is anytime your business name telephone number and address is listed on google google gives you a citation for that um what you want to do is you want to beat out these other two companies marysville landscaping and linos by about 50 citations if you were to add about 50 citations and give yourself that gap between them you would definitely climb the ranks here and get into this top spot all right, so the second part of this that searchers are going to see is what's called the organic listings. That's what's down here. Now, this is crucially important because nine times out of 10, anyone searching for a product or a service is going to go and is going to select a company that is on the first page and then high in the ranks up here. Um, now, I did take a look for LNS. I I only, to be honest with you, went about two pages back. I did not see LNS in the organic rankings, and I just stopped at that point because the fact of the matter is this. Like I was saying earlier, anyone searching for something is not going to go generally be on the first page, but certainly not to the second, third, and fourth. So what I then did was I figured out who your top competitor was, which would be Marysville Landscaping. I pulled their site, I pulled your site, and we're going to go into more depth about what's going on with I, with both of them. So to start out, here's your page. Your page is um, just, the visuals are absolutely amazing. You guys, the work that you guys do is just ab without parallel. It's incredible. Um, now, the first thing that I did notice is this up here, this header, is very crowded. So personally, my suggestions here would be to get rid of call us now altogether, scoot the telephone number over this way. You can also, in the button itself, um, it can say call us now. Um, that's definitely an option. I would move the review us on Google over to the right and have, you know, some sort of a, a tag phrase, a headline, something of that nature here centered next to your logo. Um, it would just make this look sharper and less congested. Now, the second thing that I would suggest, well, actually that I recommend is um, right underneath your focal header is what needs to be here is, is your services. So not just a list of your services, but a little synopsis just like this. So our services is here. This all needs to move up and be right underneath your focal header because what Google does is Google matches the information that you have and links it up with the people searching for it. So if you move that services section up to here and then put a little synopsis of each service underneath, that would help tremendously because here's what Google does. Google has a crawler that that 24-7 runs through the internet and looks at every single site on the internet. What Google is looking for is 1,500 words of command con con content on the main, main page of any website. So content is all of this, all of the information included on the site. Now, what they want to see within that 1,500 words of command content is organic keywords sprinkled throughout. If these changes were to be made um, to your site, that would definitely help you climb the ranks tremendously. I love the testimonials. Um, I love the layout of that. The site is is very nice. I do like the site and it's a great way to start out. Um, now here, you've got all this dead space here. So these four either need to be downsized so that the fifth can fit up here with them or you could do um, kind of like a, a checkered zigzag pattern and do three here and two here. Just something because this is a lot of dead space. 
Um, I did run the numbers on your site and you guys are running at 286 words. So definitely want to bring that up to the 1500 mark and you would definitely, you would see your ranks climb tremendously, even just from those, um, changes made. Okay. Now, like I said, I did go ahead and I pulled Marysville's site as well so that we could take a look and see what they're doing. Um, in comparison. So they've got their focal header here. Um, uh, just one image. They've got a testimonial, it looks like. Very little information. They don't have their services listed right underneath their focal header. Um, their images are wonderful, but there's just, I mean, services is all the way down here. So, and there's no description of any of them. So I ran the numbers on them as well, and they are only running at 331 words, so they're not even a quarter of the way there. Um, what this tells me collaboratively is this site is definitely beatable. Um, taking into consideration the things that I just told you about your site, if those changes were to made, to be made, their site would, you would be on the move up the ranks for sure. Now what I did is I went ahead and pulled my web crawler program. What this says is this analyzes the data in more depth for each site so we can see exactly what's going on. The two most important things I want to tell you about is the UR and the DR factor. This UR rating is your trust. This DR rating is your power. Now these two numbers are determined by your backlinks. What a backlink is, is a shout out from another website to yours. There's a link from that site to yours. And what that does is one gives you credibility. Number two gives you exposure. Now it looks like you've got one organic keyword um, in your content and collectively adds in a whole entire picture. It doesn't look like we've got any organic that's coming trafficked into your site. Now, if we are to look at the comparison here, what we've got going on with Marysville is they've got 467 backlinks. The problem here is that all backlinks are not created equal. Quality is far more important than quantity in this realm at all times. So what this tells me is if they were using higher powered backlinks, this number would be much larger. So this is actually good because what that means is they can be outbeaten with higher powered backlinks. All right. Um, the next thing is they've got 551 organic keywords sprinkled throughout their content, which is good. Definitely want to boost your organic keywords like I was telling you in that 1500 words of content. Now looking at the whole entire picture for them, what they've got going on is an organic traffic rating of 812. What does that mean? That means 812 folks each month are searching for their services, clicking on their site, retaining their services, getting additional information, whatever the case may be. This is a lot of traffic. Um, but like I was saying, the great news is here, if the steps and the tips that I gave you are implemented for your site, it's absolutely doable to knock them out of their placing and have LNS in their, in their spot and, you know, essentially taking over all of this traffic per month. So I hope this video has been informative for you. If you are interested in moving forward and getting your, your business up to the top, I would certainly appreciate you reaching back out. If not, if it's not something you're interested in, no harm, no foul. Again, I appreciate your time, but I would certainly love some feedback.